This is part 42 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss opening a page in new browser window and along the way, we'll discuss using UI hint attribute. Please watch part 41 before proceeding. We'll be using the same example that we started in part 40 of this video series. Notice that at the moment, when we navigate to details action within the home controller, and then when we pass an employee ID of 1, we only see that employee's full name. That's because of the changes that we have done in part 41. Let's undo those changes so that we can view this employee's full details. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Within the home controller, within this details action method, let's create an instance of our sample DB context class. And this class has got employees property which is going to retrieve all the employees from the database out of which we need a single employee where the ID of the employee must be equal to the ID that we are passing into this details action method. The single method is going to return a single employee object back which we are going to store in this object. We are going to pass this employee object as the model for our view and within details view let's set the model as employee object and then I'm going to make use of div tag right here and we are going to set the style attribute let's set font family as area and within this div tag I'm going to use this HTML helper display form model this helper method is going to walk through each property within this employee object and it's going to render the UI for us to view the employee full details. Let's build these changes. Let's refresh this view. At this point, we should be able to view employees full details and notice that this personal website property is rendered as a hyperlink and that's because if you remember within this employee class we have decorated personal website property with data type attribute and notice that we are using this data type enum here and specifying that this is a URL and notice this when we view the page source look at the anchor tag that is generated right here it has the href attribute but it doesn't have the target attribute if we want URLs to open in a new window then we need to set target attribute to underscore blank since this anchor tag doesn't have the target attribute when we click on this hyperlink the target page is going to open in the same window let's see how to open these URLs in a new window I'm going to make a few changes first of all I'm going to right click on this views folder add a new folder and I'm going to name this shared folder so anything that you want to share with all the views put that in this shared folder and within this shared folder I'm going to add another folder I'm going to call it display templates and within this display templates I'm going to add a view and I'm going to name this URL and I'm going to make use of razor view engine and notice the name of the view here it matches you know this enum value data type dot URL let's click add that should add URL dot CSHTML and then here I'm going to build this anchor tag let's set the href attribute so the href attribute value is going to come from view data dot model and then notice that I'm going to set the target attribute as well and I'm going to set that to underscore blank this is what is required to open a URL in a new window and then the text for this anchor tag is also going to come from view data dot model so with these changes let's build the solution let's go ahead and refresh this page and then let's right click and view the page source and notice the anchor tag right here we have the href attribute and we also have this target attribute which is set to underscore blank okay so now when we click on this link the URL should open in its own window so what's happening now how is it working so anytime you know we have these properties that are decorated with this data type attribute 
okay we have used this enum to specify that this is a URL it's going to check okay is there a display template with the same name that is URL and it will look for that display template inside display templates folder and this display templates folder can either be in the shared folder or in the home folder okay if it's present in the shared folder then those display templates are available for all the views if it's present in the home folder then they are they are available only to the views within that home folder okay so if a match is found it's going to pick up the template to render that property but the downside of this approach is that from now on all the links will open in a new window but let's say our requirement is such that we want only this property to open in a new window rest of the links within our application needs to open in the same window okay so how do we achieve that we need to make two simple modifications okay the first thing is let's change the name to something else I'm changing the display template name to something like open in new window okay now since the name of the template is something else you know when this property is rendered it doesn't find a template with the name as URL so it is not going to use this template okay so by default it's just going to render you know generate this property as a hyperlink without the target attribute okay but then we want to tell somehow to the MVC you know especially for this property to make use of this display template and how do we tell that by using UI hint but before without using that UI hint attribute let's actually refresh this view and then let's click on this one notice that it opens in the same window because at the moment this property is not using this display template for rendering okay so to force you know to make use of this display template I'm going to use UI hint attribute and then we specify the name of the template to use in this case it's going to be open a new window let's build and then let's refresh our changes let's view the page source and notice that we have this target is equal to um, underscore blank so obviously when we click on this link uh, the URL is going to open uh, in a new window so UI hint attribute is used to specify the name of the template to use to display that specific property on this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day.